the electrical was older and they needed to make some changes. We had a lot of old track lighting, which really sucked up a lot of energy use, especially in these two rooms over here. And so they took that out and then they updated the electrical panels in the building. And then this year um, we saw the uh, removal of the carpet and they're going to have the floors done. Um, actually, it was about three years ago we had the roof underlayment. They had to take the tiles off the roof, fix the underlayment, and then put the tiles back on. And they had to do that piece by piece, section by section. So that took quite a long time. So the whole building was covered in scaffolding. The room was dark. It had track lighting, but it was kind of dark. There was carpeting on the floor. That room was completely enclosed in panels and covered, so you couldn't even see the windows. There was no and light coming through. There was no light coming through at all. And now you can see how beautiful it is with the floors, with the windows exposed, with the paint, when they repainted in here a couple months ago. We want to make sure that the structure stays uh, a jewel of the community. And uh, that's why we're going to continue to you know, keep it up and, and, and maintain it and, and you know, make sure that, that people still have it in their neighborhood as, a, as a, something to be proud of. Um, but ultimately, it's really not going to work as a museum anymore.